hurtling over the, the long snapper. You agree it's a dangerous play? Yeah, I do. And, and I, I was on a competition committee for a long time. And, and you, you th things come up and happen and evolve in the game of football. And this is one that's kind of evolved. I think it's a dangerous play. Uh, I think it's a dangerous play not only for the leaper, but you saw how, how about the kicker and the, uh, uh, the holder. I mean, they're, they're going to get hit sometimes here, too, and it's dangerous on them. So, uh, and I also think it's a little hard to officiate from a point of view of, of making sure the guy's on the side and off side a little bit, too. So I, I was for that one. Yeah, the Eagles lost two long snappers on, in one game. They're a big part of this thing got, uh, got pushed through, so the Eagles certainly agree as well. Charlie, what about the fact now that every receiver, regardless of where that receiver, receiver started, the play is now a defenseless receiver? I, I like this one here, and I don't think it's over-officiating or, or, or trying to be too careful to take hitting out of football. You have a play right now, if a ball is intercepted, and there's a player who is not in the play, and he gets ear holed, a cold cock, a cheap shot, a blind shot. That's a penalty. It's kind of the same thing. We used to have a saying, what would 50 guys in the bar say? Well, what you're saying is, what's a common sense rule? Here's a guy who's not even involved in the play, a receiver, and here's a DB comes out, and he just ear holes the guy. And he says, well, I thought the ball was going there. Yeah, no, the ball wasn't going there. Right. So you're taking a cheap shot out of the game. You're just adding something that's already in the game. Uh, taking the cheap shot out to another player. I'm for that one. Well, we could tell you that this still is legal, Charlie, because this has also become one of the more exciting plays, although sometimes you think it's kind of silly. The Rams put this tweet out there. You can't jump over the long snapper anymore, but guys like Todd Gurley can still jump over defensive backs. He does this a lot. Ezekiel Elliott does this a lot. There are some people, however, that have joked that one of these days, Charlie, this too is going to get banned. Want to get your thoughts real quick, if we could, Charlie, on replay, the fact that it's now centralized. The thought had been for a while that if you take that power away, the decision-making power away from the head official, that somehow it would upset the dynamic between the official and the two head coaches, that now the official could just go, hey, it's not my call. What do you think of that? Yeah, I'm not so sure I, people are going to worry too much about that. I, I think we may have already had this anyway. Because the, you know, I think you've been talking to New York. I can't say that definitively, but my guess is I think we've already had this. Now we're going to make it official. So a couple things here. First of all, you're not going to have to worry about the referee in a hostile environment being influenced. Yes, you're going to have more consistency because you basically are going to have three people making the call because you could have many calls at the same time, so you're going to have to have more than one. So I think they've got to have three people designated, especially on the 1 o'clock games. And again, think about this. The guy who's grading them, Dean Blandino, at the end of the week, well, now he's going to be grading him right. by doing it right during the game, and he's going to do it. So I think you will get more consistency. That's important. You're going to take the human element out of it with the crowd and the viciousness of the crowd that could influence the official. But you have to talk to him. You have to talk to him because, again, flat screens are one-dimensional. He's doing it in three dimension. So I think you're going to have to have his inputs, which they will. But I'm not sure this is a bigger deal as people are making, because I think we've been doing it anyway.